everybody, it's Jenny from the Missouri Star Quilt Company, and I have a great project for you. This is based on an old block called Delectable Mountains, and we have made it new and usable by using pre-cuts to do it. So let's take a look at this quilt behind me. Isn't this great? I mean, it's got these great little up and down movement, makes kind of a saw blady thing in here. Just so many elements to this quilt and so many things that you can do with it. So to make this quilt, what you're gonna need is one packet of printed 10 inch squares. And we have used Wildwood Way by Florian Finch for RJR. You're also gonna need 40 10 inch uh, background squares and some yardage. The yardage, your background yardage is gonna put this little border all the way around it and you're gonna need about three quarters of a yard for that. For your outer border, you're gonna need a yard and three quarters, and it's a six and a half inch border. So nice big border, makes a quilt that is about 91 by 88. So it's a great size quilt and really a fun project to make. So let me show you how to do this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one 10 inch square, and we're gonna take one printed 10 inch square. Now on our background square, we're gonna go ahead and iron a line. This is gonna be our sew line right down the middle. And you can either iron the line or draw the line. So we're just gonna fold that diagonally, iron the line. This gives us an iron sew line. You wanna put your printed fabric down first and you wanna put your 10 inch square on top of it. Make sure that your iron line is going down. If you, if you flip it over, it's just way easier to sew in the ditch than it is on top of the mountain. And if you put it the other way, that line's gonna come up like this and it's gonna make it a little harder to sew on. So we have ours this way. We're gonna sew a quarter of an inch on either side of that line and we're gonna go to the sewing machine and do that. We're making a giant half square triangle and uh, we just wanna sew a quarter of an inch on either side of that line. So set up your machine and go right, put your presser foot right on the side Go all the way down, flip it around, and come up the other side. Now you want to be pretty careful about this quarter of an inch because um, what we're going to do, the measurements are going to matter on what we're going to do. So uh, first thing we're going to do now is we're going to cut this in half diagonally, just like this right in, on our fold line. We're using our fold line as our guide, corner to corner, and then we're gonna press these open. You're gonna do this to 40 of your squares, just 40, not 42, but just 40. Like this, I'll go ahead and do both of them. So once you get your seams all nice and flat, then we're gonna take our two half square triangles over here and you're gonna to wanna to separate them into two piles. So these are, these, you know, if I line these up, they're exactly the same, but we need to cut them differently. So we have one block coming this way and one block coming this way to form that mountain. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make two piles of ours. There will be 20 of these squares in each pile and, um, and then you'll be able to cut them. So now we're gonna cut these into strips. What you wanna do, because our block is now nine and a half, it is not, no longer 10 inches, you wanna take the finished size of your block and you wanna divide that by four strips. So the finished size of your block divided by, store, by four will give you your strip size. Our strip size is now two and three eighths. That's because we want four equal pieces. Now two and three eighths is a little different measurement. So what I've done here is I've taken a piece of painter's tape right here and I've put it on the two and three eighths. The three eighths line is the little line just before the half. And so this will remind me because I might remember on the first four, but by the time I start cutting them and I'm automatically cutting, I'm gonna go right to that two and a half. And they're just gonna, this, this last one, if you do that, this last one is not gonna be the same size. So we wanna do these at two and three eighths and we're gonna cut them just like this. We'll move that one out of the way. We'll line our ruler up right along the edge of that. And you're gonna cut four of these out of each half square triangle. And you wanna make sure your blocks are oriented the right way. So this one, uh, so, so this one is, you want these to go opposite ways. Don't forget that, that's really important. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn these strips around. So we're just turning them around, right upside down like this. 
we're going to sew these together and it's going to make the first half of that mountain block. So we're just going to go over and we're going to sew these together a quarter of an inch. And I've got my quarter of an inch lined up here. You want to be pretty accurate on these quarter of an inches. You know, sometimes it doesn't matter. On this quilt, it matters. So once you get that done, we're going to press these open. Uh, it's a good idea for all of your seams on the back to go the same direction. So I'm just going to lay this on here, press from the top, flip it over, and then you're just going to add the next strip and the next strip until you have a block that looks like this. Ah, can't get my fingers under there. All right. So your block looks like this. You're going to make four of those. It takes two from each block orientation to make the block. So let me show you that because you want them to come together like this. And actually we're going to put our colors together. We want to put our colors together. That's, that's what's so fun about a quilt like this is that if I just turn those the other way, they're going to do a whole different thing. Now one of the things you have to remember is that these are now taller than they are wide. So you can't actually turn them. You can't make a mistake and put them wrong, but you can do this. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to put these together, four of them like this. Just like that. That makes our block. So now what we do is we're going to sew a quarter of an inch on this seam, a quarter of an inch on this seam, and then sew the whole middle together like a four patch. And that's going to make our big block for our quilt. And we'll just do that to all of our pieces. We're going to press this out and see what we got. All right. Ah, oh, this is so pretty. All right, our center seam looks good. Everything else matched up really nice. And this is your finished block right here. Isn't that fun? Really fun. So let's look at the quilt behind me so we can see how we set these together. Now we've got one, two, three, four, five across. And we've got, because they make such long blocks, we've got five big blocks across and one, two, three, four down. And it makes almost a square quilt, you know. And just remember, I mean, if you want yours a different shape, you just add more blocks. Just add more blocks. So then what we do is we just sewed these together. And I've got some sewn together right here. We can show you. So we just sewed four of these across like this. And look, it makes this little diamond in the middle. So once you get your quilt top all together, we are ready to add that first border. Now the first border across the top and bottom is just a straight two and three eighths strip. And remember, we did we are using two and three eighths. That's a little bit different size, but we wanted it to match our strip size. So also, then when you come down the sides, we did something a little different. We put this these little cornerstones in here, snowballed our strips so that we could finish out this little diamond and it just gives it that little finishing touch. So how we did that was the very top strip right here is only nine and a half inches. It's the width of the block. That's the first time we hit one of those diamonds. But the next three pieces are 18 inches. And so what you're going to do is you're going to cut your strips, these background ones, two and three eighths. Then you're going to cut some two and three eighths inch squares off your two leftover pieces that you did not use uh, making your mountain blocks. We're going to sew diagonally, corner to corner, trim that off, iron that back. So then when we put them together, they're going to go together like this and it's going to make that outside peak. And you want to do the same thing on both sides. Once you get those on, you're going to add your bigger outer border and your quilt is going to be finished. So we hope you enjoyed this quilt. It's a fun new way of setting blocks together. We're calling it Grand Adventure because it's just like climbing mountains. And we hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the Grand Adventure quilt from the Missouri Star Quilt Company.